Hi, boys and girls. Zebras are cool, don't you think? They look a lot like horses or donkeys, but are mostly white, with a wild vertical black stripey pattern. Vertical means the stripes run up and down, like a signpost. Zebra stripe patterns are different on each animal, just like you are different from your friends. This pattern helps them hide in the bushes from animals who might hurt them, like lions. Also, the pattern helps them tell the difference between friends and family, or zebras they don't know. See the difference? Here's a horse, here's a cute goat, and here's a zebra. They also have a very stiff mane that sticks straight up on their necks. Remember kids, Z is for zebra. Can you say that? Zebra. The Z has a long E sound like B. Zebra. Yay, you got it. Zebras are mammals. That means they are warm blooded, like we are, and give birth to a live young zebra. Not like a chicken or a turtle that lay eggs. Eggs later hatch to reveal little chicks and adorable baby turtles. What do zebras eat? Good question. Zebras are called herbivores because they only eat plants. They never eat meat or fish or rocks or chairs. Can you say herbivores? Herbivores. Great, you did it. Baby zebras drink their mother's milk for up to a year. Adult zebras mostly eat the same things as horses. They eat grass, but also munch on shrubs, herbs, twigs, and leaves. Zebras often live in a family group that has one male called a stallion and up to six females called mares, plus their babies. Baby zebras are so cute, just like human babies, and baby turtles, and baby chickens. Where do zebras live? Africa. Africa is the world's second largest continent. It covers 20% of the total land area of the earth. Africa is the oldest place with humans and animals on earth. In fact, our ancestors all came from there. In a way, we are all Africans. Remember kids, Z is for zebra. Can you say that? Zebra. Plains zebras are found on the savannas from Sudan to northern Zimbabwe in eastern Africa. What's a savanna covering thousands of miles? Think of a dry grassy area the size of the state of Texas. Savannas have a very dry season and then a very wet season. No snow. Grevy zebras, for example, live on the hot grassy parts of northern Kenya. What do zebras drink? Good question. Just like we humans, zebras need water every day to live. Zebras drink about 10 gallons of water a day. That's a lot. How much water a day do you drink, girls and boys? One glass? Two? More? Good job. Remember kids, Z is for zebra. Can you say that? Zebra. In the wet season, zebras get water from lakes, rivers, streams, or ponds. In the dry season, they may walk many miles to get to a watering hole. Far out on the African savanna we talked about, zebras have been tracked walking as much as 300 miles to get to food and water. Wow! 300 miles?
animals called predators that can hurt or eat zebras also gather at the watering holes. Predators mostly eat meat. They are really, really big cats, but not like the one you might have as a pet. They are also called carnivores. Can you say carnivores? Carnivores? Good job! Predators include lions, cheetahs, and leopards, and can catch and eat zebras. Finding water to drink during long dry spells is hard. Some kinds of zebras use their sharp hooves to dig in the ground to get water. Let's spell zebra. Ready? Z E B R A. Zebra. Yay, you did it! Some zebras sleep standing up. Do you sleep standing up? No. When zebras are in groups, some sleep standing up like a lookout. That way, if one spots a predator, they will bark or whinny loudly to wake up and warm the others in the group. Run, zebras, run! What do zebras sound like? Zebras make many different sounds, one of which is a bark or yip. This sound helps zebras find each other way out in the savanna. Zebras are pretty big. The common plain zebra runs four to five feet high at the shoulder, plus a neck and a big head. And they are about six to eight feet long with a bushy 20 inch tail. His tail is about the same length as a baseball bat. Males are slightly larger than females. A zebra can weigh up to 770 pounds. Well, how much do you weigh? 40 pounds? 50? Maybe. How about 770 pounds? No way! Zebras can run up to 35 miles per hour. And just like when a horse or goat babies are born, new zebra babies can stand, walk, and nurse from their mom right after they're born. Aw, that's cute! of a zebra show its mood. When a zebra is in a calm or friendly mood, 
its ears stand erect. When it is frightened, its ears are angled forward. When angry, the ears are pulled backward just like a horse does. I wouldn't mess with this guy. Remember kids, Z is for zebra. Let's think about the environment, okay? The environment includes all living and non-living things. The living things, for example, are the people, plants, animals, and insects, just like your neighborhood. The non-living things include rocks and mountains, oceans, rivers, and the weather. When we study the environment, we study how these two parts impact or change that other part. For example, waves on the ocean shoreline over many years can wear away the rocks. Volcanoes can erupt and pour out hot lava that changes the landscape, like in Hawaii. The idea is, over time, things change. For example, the vast African grassy savanna where zebras lived is being changed by having too many cows eating too much grass. Cattle eat all the grass and even its roots. This turns the gently rolling grassland into desert where very few plants and animals, including our zebra friends, can survive. See, their environment has changed because people raise cows so they can eat cow meat, like a hamburger or a steak made from cows. What other animals share the name zebra? Well, there is a very cute little bird that many people have as a pet called the zebra finch. See his little neck and tail stripes? What other animal shares the zebra name? Zebra fish. That's right. The zebra fish is a tropical freshwater fish. You might even have some little zebra fish in your tank at home. Well, kids, out in the vast African savanna, the beautiful moon is rising. And the zebra herd is going to bed, with some sleeping standing up to protect their friends. Remember, boys and girls, Z is for zebra. Good night, zebras. Good night, boys and girls.